sweet recipe. Today I'm going to tell you how to make sweet grenache. Normally this would be a short and sweet recipe, but because there's a cooling period for the grenache, then I'm going to keep it as a normal recipe for now. So for this recipe, you need 100 grams of 100% pure dark chocolate, and you also need 50 grams of cream. Because I'm doing a truffle mixture, then the ratio is two to one for chocolate cream. If you're doing uh, fillings for cakes, then it's one for one, or if you're doing a glaze, then it's uh, one part chocolate, two parts cream, just so you know. And I've already had some dark chocolate melting uh, on the stove. The best way to do this is to boil some water, about an inch at the bottom of the pan, and put another pan on top with your chocolate in, making sure that the other pan doesn't touch the water at the bottom, but the steam will hit hit the top pan and melt the chocolate for you, that way it won't burn. Now, uh, if you don't have the ability to uh, measure out 50 millilitres of cream, because not everybody does, if you've got a set of kitchen scales, which is a must, then you can weigh up 50 grams of uh, double cream, because a gram is the same as a millilitre in weight, or if you're lucky enough to have some scales which do millilitres in weight, then you can do that as well. So, I'm just going to add. For this one, I know it's 50 grams of cream for 100 grams of chocolate, but I do like to add a little bit extra, so I normally put about 70 grams. So, at this point, you add your sweet. Just going to bring this to the boil. Just, just before boiling, actually, is probably best. If you see the bubbles in the cream, then it's ready. So I've had some dark chocolate sitting in there, uh, cool me down a little bit, but it's better to do this when they're both hot. Now, the toppings that I'm going to be using on the outside for the, for the truffles, there's lots of different things you can use. Please be inventive uh, and, and send in uh, anything that you think is great to our Facebook page. If you could like and share this video, I'd be very grateful. Uh, I've got in here a bowl of uh, chopped hazelnuts, some chopped almonds, and some desiccated coconut. Now, you need to add uh, around, because we're using 100% pure dark chocolate, uh, you need to add around 30 drops of sweet to the cream. I do this at this point, um, so it's three full syringes worth. Three. Uh, you can do four if you want, or you know, if you like less sweet or more sweet, go for it, do, do, do as you like, what you prefer. Now, there are lots of different types of of different companies that do 100% pure dark chocolate. Um, you may have your own that you prefer. Some of the ones that um, I've tried are the Baker's uh, Baking Chocolate, which is 100% cacao. Uh, the one I'm using for this recipe is the Montezuma's 100% uh, pure dark chocolate, which you can get from Sainsbury's for £2.50 for 100 grams, which is a very, very good deal. Or, if you like Willie's, they do a 100% pure cacao. There are lots of flavours you could also add to your truffles if you wish. Uh, caramel, coconut, all of which are, are zero sugar. You can find them in the baking sections of the supermarkets. Go for it, let us know what you think. So, cream is hot now. Now, when you're adding your hot cream to your uh, melted chocolate, only add a little bit at a time. And then give it a stir. It will, you don't want it to slop all over you. And if you add too much at once, you won't get a great consistency and it will look, it'll look like it's gone a bit funny. It will come together if you keep stirring, um, but it's better to do it slowly. And you'll get this melted sort of uh, consistency, which is still, we can't really form uh, truffles with that at this point. So at this point, I would let that cool down to room temperature once you've added all your cream. Um, you can either put it in the fridge for a few minutes until it gets to the right uh, consistency to form balls or leave it at room temperature for a bit longer until it forms balls. It's entirely up to you. So I've got one that I made earlier, uh, which is at the right temperature. So, now, very easy to do. Two spoons, scrape up some of the mixture, scrape it off into your preferred coating. Now, at this point, it becomes a lot easier to shape your truffles because you've got the coatings on there. So, and then I like to use, I'm going to make two truffles for you. 
I like to use the little um, you get sweet cases which you can get in the baking section as well. Here's one. Here's one. Remember, they don't have. They really do not have to be round. They're truffles. They're always different shapes of truffles. So do not panic. These make excellent gifts. The little cases there. Presentation. Add them to tray. Um, give them to your friends. Put them in the fridge. If you could put them in the fridge, take them out about 10 to 15 minutes before you're going to consume them. If you hold on that long, it will improve your taste dramatically. And these really do taste. Oh. Mmm. Fantastic. Your life, Sweden.